Hello, our goal is to create a wiki in WebDevI with versioning, authentication and authorization in less than two minutes. So we go to the administrative interface, there's the name of our new application, here we go. We get a new model and in this new model, new model, we import the markdown helper that converts markdown text into HTML. We define a table page with a name, an author, timestamp, title, a body, and a change note. Uh, the saved, the author is a reference to the B alt user which is provided by WebDefy. Uh, we require the page name to be not already in the database. Uh, we parse from the URL the page name and eventually the page ID which will be the version. Uh, we create a function that's going to be useful called get pages that's going to get all the pages with the name that we want if we specify an ID it's going to get that specific page and it's going to give us all the pages that match our query in reverse chronological order and with a limit by so by default only the first if we don't specify that we get all of them now we added the controller default py we remove the index action and we replace it with three actions the index action gets the page we want only the first one so the latest version and edit action which requires login and uh, is going to get the page if it exists already it's going to create a crowd create form for a new page if page with that name exists already the new page will have default values as set to the values of the previous page so it's going to be a new version of the previous page and we have an action logs that's going to get us all the pages with the name that we want uh, no limit by so all of them now we need to create the views so let's edit the index view we replace everything in there with a new view that says here's the page name if we have the page process the page body with a link to edit that links the action edit a links to logs that links the action logs and if we don't have the page a link that says create that also links the action edit We also need the uh, default edit. It's going to contain, it's going to display the page name and contain the form. And finally, we're going to need an action logs. It is going to display the page name and loop over the pages that we found with the same name and display all of them with information about uh, the author of that page and we're gonna say uh, if you click on it you're gonna see this particular version of the page that's done the week is working so we click on it this is our ma main page we can create it in order to create it we need to log in in order to log in we need to register So now we can create this page. My first page. Um, so it's gonna have my first page as either. And let's try and mark down, let's make a list. This is a list. Let's see if this works. Good, this is my first page. Let me edit my first page. So now you see that if you look at the logs, you see the two previous pages. So if I click and first I see the latest version, and I see where here's the page name and here's the page version. And uh, if 
I click on the second, I see the page name, and this is the first version. And uh, let me try to go to a page that doesn't exist. It asks me if I want to create it, and I can create it. So we have the help page and we have the main page. So now from the main page we can add click here to help a link to the help page. And we can also create links to pages that don't exist yet. So let's go back to the first page, let's add it. Go up and here for info. And we're gonna link a new page that we're gonna call info. So we save this. We click on info, the page doesn't exist and ask us if we want to create it. So info page. And you're gonna get page some info about this. App. So now we can go back to main, and we click on info. We get the info page, and we click on help. We get the help page. Every page we can edit, or we can look at the logs. So let's go to main and look at the logs and we'll find four different versions of these pages created by me. And that's pretty much it. to create the app.yaml file or the index.yaml file uh, that's done automatically web by Web2Py, it's already there. Uh, if you have an account with Google App Engine, you just click deploy and uh, your application will be up and running there.